The Henke Sass Wolf Pneumatic Vaccinator is a safe and efficient device for subcutaneous and intramuscular administration of vaccines in day-old chicks. Before starting to operate, unpack the device and all of its accessories. Check if the materials are complete before first usage. Make sure that your compressed air system is in good condition and supplies clean and dry air. Connect your air compressor to the device and lift the cover. Insert the pin on the front side of the cover into the lug on the front of the ground plate. Unscrew the needle nut from the syringe. Take a needle and insert it into the needle nut. Screw the needle nut hand tight onto the syringe and remove the security cap. Please use caution to avoid any self-injections. Turn the device to the manual mode. Push the manual button to release the needle. Measure the length of the needle while holding the manual button pressed. If the needle length needs to be adjusted, release the manual button. Open the cover and loosen the two screws on the syringe plate. Adjust the needle length by moving the syringe plate. A scale on the ground plate will help you to adjust the needle length. You can add or reduce needle length by moving the plate. After finishing the adjustments, tighten the screws. Check again if the correct length has been achieved. If the adjustments are not correct, repeat the previous steps. The trigger box can also be adjusted according to your preferences. Loosen the screws on the trigger box. Adjust the position on a vertical, horizontal and diagonal axle until the preferred position is reached. Fix the preferred position by closing the screws clockwise. Take a vaccine bottle and pierce it with a sterile needle. Connect a dripping chamber and place the bottle in the vial holder. Before taking out the syringes, the connection tube has to be disconnected. Pull out the left syringe carefully. Take out the piston from the syringe body. Insert some vaccine into the syringe body to pre-fill it. Adjust the dosage of the left syringe to C. The syringe is equipped with an adjustable dosage volume of 0.1, 0.2 and 0.25 milliliters. Attach the tube to the V-shaped connection and insert a blind plug into the outlet, which will later on be connected to the right syringe. Push the piston several times until the syringe is completely filled with vaccine. You can simultaneously check the dosing accuracy by pumping the vaccine into a measurement cup. Connect the dripping chamber to the second vaccine and let the liquid flow out until it almost reached the end of the tube. Use the right syringe and repeat the same steps over again. Insert some vaccine into the syringe body to pre-fill it. Adjust the dosage of the right syringe to C. Push the piston of the right syringe manually until vaccine comes out at the front. Keep on pumping until no air bubbles are visible in the tube anymore. Insert both syringes into the fixture. Connect the two syringes by using the provided tube. To connect the syringes, press the tube completely into the connector. Guide the vaccine tubes through the clamps at the back. Check the dosing accuracy by pressing the manual button several times and pump the vaccine into the measurement cup. Assemble the cover on the pneumatic vaccinator. The day counter indicates the number of vaccinations complete in total. It can be reset by pressing the rectangular button next to the display. The batch counter may be used to vaccinate a required number of chicks per batch. If the batch counter reaches zero, the system will give an acoustic and optical signal and the system remains in a locked position. To reset the batch counter, press the reset button on top of the back part of the device. Compressed air is simultaneously blown out of the trigger element in order to clean this part from contamination. By 
pressing the day-old chick against the trigger element, one needle comes out of the device and penetrates the neck of the chick. You can not only use the pneumatic vaccinator as a double, but also as a single injector. On the right syringe, press the blue lever downwards and pull out the pneumatic tubing. Same goes for the second connection. Close the hole with a blind plug. Disconnect the tubing at the front of the two syringes. Pull out the tube while holding the lever pressed. Take another blind plug and push it into the connection of the left syringe. Now, it is possible to operate the pneumatic vaccinator as a single injector using only one syringe and one cylinder. Check the dripping chamber daily. If necessary, release the drain water by opening the valve at the bottom. Close the valve properly after draining. Do not autoclave the device, only the syringes if required. The device should not be immersed in any liquid as this will damage pneumatic parts. The cover of the device can be cleaned with mild soap or detergent. No water will permeate the lower half of the system. To guarantee that, the device needs to be in an inclined position. Clean the interior parts by wiping it with clean water or a mild detergent to remove contaminants. After each vaccination session or when moving the device or its components to different locations and whenever a threat due to potential contamination has to be prevented, the pneumatic vaccinator should be disinfected. Spray the device thoroughly. Always spray from the backside of the device so that the liquid can run off. Make sure all surface parts are covered by disinfectant. Do not spray disinfectant into the air filter. Clean the device and all of its components. Dry all parts of the pneumatic vaccinator with compressed air or with a soft towel. Allow all parts to dry completely. Flush the syringe with warm water after use. Disassemble the syringe. Pay close attention that small parts do not get lost during the cleaning process. Do not use high acid or alkali content to wash the different parts as they will lead to corrosion. Each component should be washed in a solution of mild detergent. Take care to properly clean the seats of the intake and exhaust gasket seals. Rinse all components with warm water. Lay all parts of the disassembled syringe in a pot. Fill the pot with water and boil all components in this pot for 20 minutes. Before you reassemble the syringe, dry all parts of the syringe with compressed air or with a soft towel. Allow all parts to dry completely. Moisture within an assembled syringe leads to corrosion. Apply a drop of silicon oil to the o-ring positioned on the plunger. Mm -hmm. 